Summertime can be busy and sometimes the last thing I want to do is get dinner on the table. So today I have four different recipes that require five ingredients and your air fryer, which means your kitchen won't be hot and you can get dinner on the table fast. Sound good? Keep watching. Hey there, my name is Kathy, and on this channel, I help people actually use their air fryer. So if you're all about simple and easy, just like I am, this video is for you. You ready to see these? Let's go. First recipe, you just need some steak, mushrooms, onions, Worcestershire sauce, and a little garlic powder. So first we're gonna just grab a half of an onion and slice that up, and then just chunk it up. So just some big little chunkies, then drop that in a bowl. And now I've got eight ounces of mushrooms that I washed, and now I'm gonna just chop them into halves. I've got a few kids that don't care for mushrooms, so having them in these big old chunks makes it easy for them to pick it out. Add that to your bowl, and then it's time for some steak. So I just washed my steak. I'm using tri-tip today, but some ribeye or sirloin will work great as well. You just need about a pound. I got almost a pound and a half today. You just wanna get it fairly even sized. Then drop it in with your veggies. Then here's our little marinade. It's a half cup of Worcestershire sauce and a half tablespoon of garlic powder. And then, like I said, as much salt and pepper as you want. Then give it a mix. You can do this in a plastic bag if you want or just in a bowl. I'm just gonna cover this up and then I'm gonna let it marinate in the fridge for about two hours. It's been two hours, the marinade is ready. Because I have steak, I definitely want to preheat my air fryer. Okay, preheated air fryer is ready. Drop your veggies right in there, level that out. Pop it in the air fryer. And we're gonna cook this at 400, but I'm gonna do for about 12 minutes and I'm turning on my shake reminder. We'll see how it goes. Let's take a peek, it smells wonderful. Woo! Give that a stir. And let's take a quick temperature check here. Wow, that is just about done. Let me take a peek at some of these other ones. All right, I'm gonna give it like three more minutes. And then we'll let it rest and it will be done. Okay, it's been three minutes and this looks so delicious. Gonna double check the temperature. Oh, it's beyond well done really probably could get by with just six minutes. It's really gonna depend on how big your steak chunks are. We are gonna eat right out of the air fryer. This boy heard steak and came running. Five ingredients to make this. Easy, it's nice and juicy. It's very good. I'd maybe put a little more salt on it next time. Thumbs up? Mm-hmm, 10 out of 10. Woohoo! If your house is anything like my house, you've got these bags of chips that are just sitting and no one's really finishing off. Today, these chips are gonna become the breading for my chicken tenders. So you want about a pound of chicken tenders, any kind of chips that you love. You'll need some eggs for an egg wash. And then if you want any additional seasonings, I'm using some parsley and garlic today. So if you just have a few chips left, then you can just crunch them up right in the bag. I probably don't need this many. So I'm gonna throw some in a Ziploc so I can crush them up. Just make sure they're finely crushed. And in the end, you'll want about a cup of crushed chips. Next, we'll get the egg wash ready. And that's just simply mixing up one to two eggs. And to make it easier, I add a splash of water. Okay, we're gonna set up our station. We've got the egg wash. And then place your chip crumbs in another shallow dish or plate. And then rinse and pat dry your chicken. Put your chicken in the egg wash and press it into the chip crumbs. Where's the chicken? It's hiding. Then place the chicken in your lightly sprayed basket and repeat the process. And if you'd like, you could sprinkle on some garlic powder, maybe some parsley. Then I'm gonna pop it right in the air fryer. I'm gonna pop it up to 380. Then I'm gonna go down to eight minutes. I'm gonna press that shake reminder. If you have thicker chicken, it will definitely take more time. That's when your instant rate thermometer is super duper helpful. All right, there's my shake reminder. Chicken's looking lovely. I had someone ask me why I always like to take the temperature, especially here at the halfway point. And I do it to make sure I'm on track with my cooking time. I just don't wanna overcook things. So you can see this thinner place is almost up to temp. I guess it was a little bit uneven, but I think I'm on track. So I'll give these little guys a flip. Since those chips are so oily, I really didn't spray any oil on, but I do see that there's been some blowout here. So I'm gonna just lightly spray this other side and we'll let it finish up. It's done, and hear that sizzle. I'm gonna check the temperature here. Plenty done, Oh yeah, I hope it's not too dry. Now this is the perfect way to use your leftover chips. Mm. That one's a winner. 
Have you ever had the cheeseburger egg rolls? It's on the Cheesecake Factory appetizer menu and they're so good. I was so excited when I found a copycat recipe and I adapted it for the air fryer. Plus I have an optional dipping sauce that only has six little ingredients that you're already using for the main meal. For this one, you need a pound of meat. I'm using ground turkey, just a little bit of onion, Worcestershire sauce, dill pickles. I'm just using dill pickle relish, some American cheese, and okay, I'm sorry, it's actually six. Uh, we need egg roll wrappers, but five ingredients for what goes in the middle. So just cook up your meat. I really love this meat chopper tool. It's important that you chop these into fine little cooked pieces. Like the largest shouldn't be any bigger than a marble. Then it's time to drain your meat. I learned this super cool trick from one of my YouTuber friends. Her name's Julia Pacheo. And you put paper towel around a wooden spoon and then look. And you just soak up all of your grease right there with the paper towel. It's the coolest trick. And next you're gonna add in a quarter cup of diced onions and a quarter cup of diced pickles. And I told you I just used some dill pickle relish because I'm a lazy cook. And one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And just mix that all up. It's cooking through and smelling fantastic. If you have any leftover onions, just bag them up, put them in the freezer and save them for another meal. Then the next step is to add, it said six slices of American cheese and just stir that up until it melts through. That's really gross looking. <laughs> to my friends on the other side of the pond, do you have American cheese over there? It melts really nicely and adds a different flavor to the meat mixture. Just cook that up until it's nice and blended and just take it off the heat and you're gonna let it cool slightly. Okay, I'm gonna prep my basket by just lightly spraying it with oil. Okay, then I've just got these egg roll wrappers and I put my filling mix here in a bowl. I have about, it's about three and a half cups of filling. So if you don't use it all, you could freeze it for later. And you're just gonna scoop on some filling right in that lower thirds of your egg roll wrapper. Fold it up, fold the insides, and then roll it right up. And if you want to, you could use some egg wash to kind of dab that closed and glue it shut. Then just set it right in your air fryer basket and let's see how many we can get in here. And ta-da, I got seven in here. I gave these a light little mist of oil. And just so you know, I have about this much mix left. I believe this will get me about four or five more egg rolls. We're gonna pop this in the air fryer. And let's cook this at 380 for about eight minutes. And I'm gonna do the shake reminder. Actually, I'm gonna do seven minutes. And I'm gonna do the shake reminder to make sure I don't overcook those. Let's take a peek. Oh, they look good. They are ready to give a little flip. You can still see they have oil because we greased the other side of the pan, so I don't need to add any more. I'm gonna pop these back in and we'll let them finish cooking. Here we go. And those look fantastic. Mmm, yeah. that is so good and so close to the real thing. These would also freeze and reheat really nicely too. Mmm, so good. Is zucchini season in full swing? Almost. I have a delicious zucchini chocolate cake recipe. I'll link to that down below. But I'm gonna show you how to use zucchini and make some zucchini boats. For this one, you just need about a pound of meat, some onion, obviously some zucchini some marinara or spaghetti sauce, and your favorite kind of cheese. But I'm making it even easier. I've got leftover spaghetti sauce, I got my zucchini, and my cheese. Okay, so if you don't have spaghetti sauce leftovers like I do, just cook up your ground beef or turkey and add your favorite spaghetti sauce and season it the way you like to. I usually always add onions and garlic and even garlic powder in my spaghetti sauce. Then give that zucchini a good little wash. Cut it in half lengthwise and just scoop out those seeds. Place them in your air fryer. I'm gonna pat them dry just a little bit. Sprinkle on some sea salt and lightly mist with oil. If you have larger zucchinis that are going from your garden, you'll probably have to cut those down and they might take longer to cook. But for this size, I'm gonna go with 380 and at about 10 minutes and we'll add more time as needed. Let's see how they look. Beautiful. We can just check for doneness. Oh, perfect. Just tap that fork in there and it just goes through nicely. I'm just gonna dab up some of the moisture from the zucchini, then spoon in some spaghetti sauce and then just sprinkle on some yummy cheese. I'm using mozzarella. You could use Parmesan or whatever else you love. We're gonna pop this back in the air fryer 
at 380 for just about two more minutes. Let's take a peek. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. This is such a great low carb option for dinner and for the taste test. Mmm, so good. Oh, he loves it. So good. He loves it. It's so good. Bussin. Bussin? Jeez. If you're looking for more simple and easy recipes, I've got more for you right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.